Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Good news: Star Citizen 3.17.2 patch notes just came out. Evil Cardi finally has her hands on it. And um, big shout out to the Pipeline Discord channel for giving us this uh, uh, the patch notes for this, so that we can look at it and uh, review to see what we actually got our hands on. All right. For those that are new, if you haven't seen, you haven't seen this channel, you haven't discovered this channel yet, and you're finally coming across this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you like to see more Star Citizen content. All right. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so uh, P17.2, uh, let's just get straight to the meat of this, all right? Uh, patch notes contain the intended features, which is fine. So right now they have some testing. The testing fo focus is right now is Siege of Orison dynamic mission play test uh, tonight shortly after release. Derelict uh, reclaimer version one and Derelict uh colonialism outpost so now that's new they never told us that we're gonna get the, the colonialism outpost which is very very cool that's that's interesting all right so let's let's go straight into it so siege of Orson, um has some issues that they're going through right now i'm not gonna bother reading the the, the issues um as they're meant to be fixed anyways okay so new features location derelict click uh, reclaimer v1 adding additional points of interest uh that will scatter both on planet and in space the derelict reclaimer comes with the puzzle traversal elements um along with multiple legal and illegal mission types which include delivery fps combat and um around the crash site using the new planetary navigation mesh there are three reclaimer derelicts in space around Yila, Mike L1, and Arc L1 associated with three different missions that can bring players to these locations, delivery, investigation, and mercenary. The new delivery uh, site, uh, Ghost Hollow, hmm, on Microtech has, MP has NPCs that can navigate on a planetary surface and has three lawful missions associated with this location that brings the players to the derelict delivery bounty hunting and bounty hunter and mercenary interesting okay derelict colonialism outpost so adding new derelict versions of the colonial outpost into stanton this initial release will see five unique outpost locations on microtech with new uh delivery missions small traversal puzzles and all but one of them having ai guards oh interesting that utilize the new planetary navigation mesh uh, along with the new drop ship reinforcement system yeah there we go drop ship reinforcement not working in this initial release this is big man this is gonna change man Man, it's gonna change so much of our gameplay, man. Things is gonna be very interesting, guys. I think um, when it comes to the Derek Outpost, first of all, the colonialism ones are gonna be really cool. They they showcased the colonialism ones um a few uh, months back, but it's gonna be our first time actually seeing it in the game. So I'm really excited to see that. But the NPCs finally um, guarding these locations, guarding these derelicts is gonna be so cool. The fact that we have to get through those guys before we can actually get access to loot or or things like that right so that's going to be really cool i think it's going to be really cool when you got when you have the orgs together you got your friends together it's going to be really fun man i'm really excited for it man this is a big surprise they never mentioned that they were going to put this in but um once again cig dropped a surprise for us so this is very big it's very big and the dropship reinforcement is huge you know so this is going to be a test for um, NPCs finally flying around from space to ground and ground to space. And, you know, just regular civ civilians, whether they trade, whether they're just traveling, whether they're, you know, the whole idea of quantum simulating NPCs, you know, flying around and stuff like that. You know, this is going to open doors for even bounty hunting where you literally have to chase an NPC, you know, you know, bounce like pirate embassies actually traversing jumping from 
one side of the system to the other and you actually literally have to catch it you know that type of game plays it's gonna it's gonna open things up for all those kind of things all right so this is big this is big this is really really big i'm really happy about that so ai planetary navigation this system allows npcs to move on planetary surface using a dynamic generated navigation mesh this will efficiently process planetary terrain and objects and prioritize the processing of the environment around the player into a nav mesh allowing the use of all existing functionalities on the planet this first implementation of this will be at the reclaimer and colonialism outpost derelict points of interest nice 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 so now the gameplay aspect they're adding um illegal collection and delivery so this one we already know about new set of delivery missions focusing on illegal cargo this will be offered by the red wing uh line hall once the player reaches a rank um to reputation with them as a courier this player will be sent generally to sketchy rundown locations like drug labs and stash houses uh is tasked with delivering good goods between them uh, some of which may not be legal uh, the intro mission will be available in Hurston if you have a rank 2 courier rep with the red wing line hall the illegal mission uh, the illegal mission should be available um, outside of Hurston in Crusader or Corp and Microtech if you have a rank 2 courier rep with the red wing line hall and have completed the intro mission um, in Hurston the mission uh, come in five different versions each with different quantity of cargo and corresponding monetary and reputation rewards given on completion that's it that's pretty good it's pretty good for pirates pirates are gonna have more things to do instead of just pvp so this is really really good okay um added siege of orison dynamic mission we got that added markers for friendly ai that are associated with your current fps mission this is good this is really good because sometimes we shoot the wrong one sometimes we shoot the security and we go we, we get crime stats right at the beginning of our play session which kind of sucks you know so the fact that the added markers is going to be very helpful okay so weapon and items so added new lootable item the gray cat salvage backpack gray cat salvage backpack we have a gray cat backpack so so this is gonna be new. This is gonna be a different one. Okay, add a new armor to um, shops. New Babbage Area 18 and Port Alasar, and lootable containers. RRS Specialty Heavy Armor. I don't know how to pronounce this. More Moro Morozov SH Brush Drift Redshift and snowdrift variants what are these i gotta see this then okay um feature update location rest stop rest stop hangers yes so this is uh the small to medium size hangers are going to be added to the rest stops which is awesome so you don't need to worry about always going on to the pad so this is going to be really good um additional stanton lagrange points good good we know about that implemented additional unique rest stop locations surrounding microtech art corp with full amenities such as clinics have shopping services um this update includes both the station themselves and the gas uh clouds surrounding them grim hex hospital expansion okay so the grim hex hospital has been expanding okay Spanning Grim Hex um, to add many additional medical rooms. Okay, so more medical rooms for Grim Hex, okay? Okay, so AI, improve AI face randomization to be more diverse, okay? So now gameplay, um, shopping kiosks, quality of life updates, okay? Um, general UI polish, um, add, adage, added check functionality to uh quick buy confirmation pop-up so that it's now quick now a quick passive pop-up and requires no interaction um, update filter section to be multi-line and added a uh, field to support search input higher value gems will now be uh much more rare in loot crazies okay so that's 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 the uh hadonite that we're finding so i guess they're gonna make it less that sucks 
um added friendly ai markers to mpc so we, we read about this um shipping vehicle so blade performance polish okay um return weapons to increase velocity return weapons to increase velocity increase wing or health is this talking about the blade change lateral uh, velocity boost uh, multiplier and aerodynamics so i'm guessing this is for the blade decrease the scorpius max speed in atmosphere why <laughs> whatever <laughs> updated the scorpius uh passed by audio adjusted the drake mule weapon rack interaction to be easier to select okay weapons and items updated dimensions and micro seu for missiles and torpedoes core tech performance polish pass on large planetary storms performance polish pass for entity streaming and updated reshade to version 5.2 so this is gonna be big so you know the storms in the, on the planet is hopefully going to improve the, the fps that we get it's 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 been pretty bad especially on hurston and microtech and you know those planets it kind of sucks um when when we get storms on those planets all right so that seems to be it um yeah man so let me know uh your thoughts on some of the things that we just went through um let me know what you're most excited for in 317.2 all right if you haven't already subscribe all right i will see you on the next one